So in conclusion, what have, we, what have we learned tonight? First is that the massive size of the swaps market is a problem that really is now starting to get beyond the ability of regulators, central banks, and even national governments to be able to cope with. That's too big to fail in a massive way. The consequences could indeed be dire. We've already experienced it in the United States for three years. We're witnessing Europe going through the same convulsions as we speak. Banks rely on invisible subsidies from the taxpayer while exposing our economy to very great risks, and they don't pay for it. This basically undermines the notion of free market capitalism, that everyone pays their fair price, and if they can't pay their fair price, they're gone, they're out of business. Schumpeter's creative destruction as a meaningful force in capitalism. It's taught by the proponents of the free market and not respected by them, because the instant they get into trouble, they're at the door of the Congress asking for relief. For 25 years, we've listened to a mantra of how good deregulation, particularly in this industry, is for us. And I think very conclusively, no matter how many times you say that, when you have a fundamental collapse like we experienced in our real estate market in 2008, to the tune of $2.1 trillion in losses, we can definitely say that this experiment in deregulation is a failure, period, and we need to re-regulate. It's time to end it. Thank you very much. Can I take questions, please? And if you could, 